It's more than a highlight show. It's a football night tradition. For 35 years, the best of Minnesota prep football. We love football and it shows. All Dutch presents the CAR 11 Prep Sports Extra. Now, here's your host, Randy Shaver. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Prep Sports Extra. It is all Metro night, and we'll reveal our 32nd annual team in just a few minutes. But we have state semifinal football highlights to get through first, so let's get going. Our spotlight game tonight at U.S. Bank Stadium, Lakeville North, Lakeville South, 6A semifinals, crosstown rivalry. Johnny Shabazz, 31-yard touchdown. Lakeville South takes the lead 7-0. But the Panthers would respond. Raja Nelson, 13-yard TD run north, would lead 14-7 at halftime. They take over in the second half, led by Brian Curtis Jr., 17-yard touchdown run. They are undefeated, heading to the state final. Lakeville North wins tonight 35-13 over South. 5A semifinal, Elk River, Owatonna. Gopher recruit Jason Williamson, 26-yard touchdown run. And Owatonna's up 19-0. Tyler Lashovsky, only completion of the game to Carter Otto. 44-yard touchdown, Elk River down 19-8. But Williamson's 199 yards and five touchdowns is just too much. Owatonna wins 39-8 to advance to the 5A title game. In 4A, St. Paul Johnson against Wilmer. Cardinals quarterback Dre Dirksen on fire. Hits Alexander Wickler for a 24-yard touchdown, 28-7. Then watch this catch. Jake Evans hauls it in from Dirksen. Wilmer wins big over Johnson, 62-20 to advance to the championship game. And Minneapolis North against Barnesville. Nasir el nice yards after catch, touchdown, 47 yards, but the Polders were down 28 to nothing at one point. They do come back. It's Jaeger to Elamine again to cut it to 28-14. But Barnesville wins. Hunter Anderson punches it in from one yard out. And the final score today was 34-20. So Barnesville to the 2A title game. Also in nine-man, big win for Mountain Lake area. 42-8 was the final over Mountain Iron Buell. And a quick tackle cancer update. The NFC has raised almost $292,000 with 59 schools still left to report. Their goal this fall was $325,000. They're gonna get there, I think. All that money supports Minnesota's cancer community. Stay tuned, our all Metro football team is next. I'm Cole Kramer, Eden Prairie quarterback, and you're watching Prep Sports Extra. All right, super. Uh, hey, Bill. Right. Bill Strandy from our social hey. media department. Yeah, welcome to my show. <laughs> um. Wild Bill. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna reveal our team here, and if you didn't watch it ten, or you're anticipating to get a chance to watch it again, thanks, Mark. Yes. That's for Billy. Don't tell. Oh, hey, um, they can hear thanks. you. Yeah. Um, I just they twenty can hear my lips. twenty-seven players and uh, two. Co uh, head coaches of the year will be announced. John Lyrick yeah. asks, Why did everybody sleep on Buffalo this season? They honestly had the most underrated team ever. Well, I wouldn't say everybody slept on them. <laughs> Buffalo was pretty good. They'll have two representatives tonight on the All Metro team. Um, you know, one of the issues for Buffalo this year was that they played a 5A schedule and they're a 6A team. And that's going to hurt them 
uh, when the seeding process rolls around. Now next year, they're moving to the Metro and they will face all the big schools next year. So it'll be a, a different deal. They're, they're oh, into wow. a different district next year. Uh, they, pr they probably wish they would have been in it this year. Yeah. All right, here we go, all Metro. Welcome back. Now it's time to reveal our 2018 CARE 11 All Metro football team. This is our 32nd edition. Let's meet our defense. Our 2018 CARE 11 All Metro defense is led by Lakeville North's defensive end, Will Mostart, number 91. Watch Will get the tremendous sack on this play in the state 6A quarterfinals, one of six on the season. The 6'4", 245 pounder has 66 tackles, 18 for losses. He was one of three linemen named Defensive Player of the Year in the Metro South. Will is headed to North Dakota State on scholarship. Ditto everything I just said for Will and apply it to twin brother Eli, number 98. Watch Eli Mostart get the big tackle for the loss on this play, one of 17 this fall. He's also 6'4", 245, great strength, speed, and a motor that doesn't stop. Eli has 66 tackles, including seven sacks. He was named Tri-Defensive Player of the Year in the Metro South. He's also headed to NDSU. Burnsville's Kyle Atkinson is the third player of the trio named Metro South Defensive Player of the Year. Watch Atkinson, number 95, with the great sack on this play. He's 6'2", 285, squats over 450 pounds. A definite dominant force. Atkinson finished with 52 tackles, eight and a half for losses, with three sacks. Holy Angels defensive end Mitch Hendrickson led the state in sacks this season. Watch Hendrickson, number 10, get the huge sack on this play. The 6'2", 205 pound senior finished with 13 and a half. He was relentless, making 68 tackles, 15 for losses. Hendrickson was named the Suburban Red Defensive Player of the Year. Blaine's Lucas Becker is 6'4", 260, and simply a great player. Watch Becker, number 70, get the huge sack on this play during the 6A quarterfinals. He's regarded as one of the best defensive linemen to ever come out of Blaine High School. Becker, wearing number 99 in this video, has 55 tackles, nine for losses, with seven sacks. Our all-metro linebackers are led by Chanhassen tackle machine, Cade Plath at six foot 215. Watch Plath, number seven, make the tackle for a loss on this play, one of 141 tackles he made this fall. That is a single season Chanhassen record. The senior led the state in tackles through the regular season. He was named defensive MVP in the suburban white. Woodbury linebacker Joe Rossibo was voted Metro East Defensive Player of the Year. Watch Rossibo number 48 with the huge tackle on this play. The senior backer at 5'11", 205, led Woodbury to a number one seed in the 6A playoffs. He finished with 95 tackles, 11 for losses, a smart, tough, instinctive player. Park High linebacker Peyton Schaefer was a fabulous three-year starter for the Wolfpack. Watch Schaefer, number nine, fill the hole and make the big tackle. He was named the Suburban Maroon Defensive Player of the Year. Schaefer at 6'1", 205, finished with 115 tackles, 10 for losses. He will play football at South Dakota State next fall. Eden Prairie's Colin Penn is six foot, 200 pounds, a two-year starter for a perennial 6A power. Watch Penn, number five, get the sack on this play. He was relentless sideline to sideline. Penn has 83 tackles, nine for losses. A somewhat unsung hero who's made a lot of big plays for a tough Eden Prairie team. 
Our All Metro secondary is led by Blaine's Ballhawk senior Jason Call. Watch Call number 22 make the great interception on this play, one of five picks for him this fall. He's a big safety at 6'4", 200 pounds. He's made 62 tackles, and also watch him strip the ball loose for a fumble on this play in leading a very good Blaine defense. Burnsville senior Marcus Shepley did it all for the Blaze in his three years as a starter. Watch Shepley, number 11, blitz from a safety position to get the huge sack on this play. At 6'1", 175, watch Shepley pick off this pass. He finished with seven interceptions, 15 in the last two years. He's also a great punter, just a fabulous all-around player. Opposing teams did not throw at Minneapolis North senior cornerback Omar Brown. And when they did, like on this play, they paid the price. The six foot, 180 pound senior was voted the Twin City Red Defensive Player of the Year. Brown was a two way star. Watch him make the catch for the touchdown on this play. He's being recruited Division One. SMB Wolfpack Junior Craig McDonald is a fabulous all around player. Watch McDonald, number seven, as he shadows the opponent's best receiver. He did this every game with great success. McDonald is 6'2", 185, with Division I potential. Watch this punt return for a touchdown in the state 4A playoffs. McDonald has Division I offers from the Gophers, Iowa State, Iowa, and Purdue. That is our 2018 All-Metro defense. Congratulations to all our winners. They will receive a plaque just like this from us here at CARE 11. And when we come back, we're gonna reveal our All-Metro offense. Randy, you're hot. Thank you. So, that's our defense. Um, there were some interesting choices that were uh, made throughout the course of the last couple of weeks, and um, I talk with a lot of coaches uh, prior to uh, choosing our final group. Um, some tough choices along the way, um, and some very good football players that uh, didn't make uh, our defense this year. But um, through conversations, we felt like those were the uh, – the players that uh, deserve to be named to the team. A um, couple of side notes. The Mostart twins at Lakeville North may be two of the more dominating football players that I have seen on the defensive line in 35 years. Um, those two guys are truly at times unblockable. And uh, what's interesting is that Will is going to NDSU on scholarship and Eli is a preferred walk-on. And if you were to ask Brian Vossen at Lakeville North, what's the difference between the two? He would say there isn't a difference between the two. They are both equally as good. So I got a feeling along the way that Eli is going to earn a full ride scholarship at NDSU before his time is done. So that is our defense. And in uh, about 30 seconds or less, uh, we are gonna name our offense and uh, our co-head coaches of the year. All the statistics, by the way, are all prior to the state semifinals, just FYI. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Are you ready? Here's our 2018 CARE 11 All-Metro Offense. Our 2018 CARE 11 All-Metro Offense is led by star running back Evan Hall of Maple Grove, a repeat All-Metro player. Watch Hall number 26 with this long touchdown run. He was among the state's leaders in carries and rushing yards during the regular season. He finished his senior year with 1,915 yards 
and 19 touchdowns. He totaled 4,200 yards on the ground in two years at Maple Grove. Our other All-Metro running back is Brendan McFadden from St. Thomas Academy. Watch McFadden, number two, take off on this long TD run. At 6'1", 210, McFadden has good size, deceptive speed, and tremendous instincts. He's rushed for 1,497 yards and 35 touchdowns in limited action because of blowout games. Just a great back. Our All-Metro quarterbacks are led by Buffalo star Aiden Bauman at 6'5", 225. Watch Bauman, number eight, throw this great touchdown pass. The junior led the state in passing yards, completions, and touchdown passes during the regular season. Bauman has a big time arm with pinpoint accuracy. He finished the season with 3,474 passing yards and 41 touchdowns. He's verbally committed to Iowa State. Eden Prairie senior Cole Kramer is gopher bound and he knows all about winning. Watch Kramer, number 12, with the touchdown pass on this play. He's 6'1", 190. He makes plays with both his arm and his legs. Kramer is described by opposing coaches as the ultimate competitor and field general. A three-year starter, Kramer's record is 33-2 as a starter. We name one All-Metro receiver, Buffalo star Trayton Welch. Welch, number four, is a big body receiver at 6'4", 210 with deceptive speed. Watch the yards after catch for a touchdown on this play. It's what made him so dangerous the past two seasons. He led the state in receiving yards during the regular season and finished with 1,302 yards on 71 catches and 16 touchdowns. Our All-Metro tight end is YZ's big target, Nick Callerup. Watch Callerup, number 88, with the nice catch and run. He's 6'4", 235. He filled in for the injured starter and played incredibly well, and opposing coaches called him a real force. Callerup finished with 34 catches for 363 yards and eight touchdowns, quite the success story. Our All-Metro athletes are led by Edina's Matt Cavanaugh, a strong two-way player. On defense, watch Cavanaugh number 34 make the tackle for a loss. The Harvard recruit at 6'1", 205, led Edina in tackles with 80. On offense, Cavanaugh also led the district in carries with 218. He finished with 1,345 yards rushing and 10 touchdowns. Our other All-Metro athlete is Lakeville North junior Raja Nelson. Watch Nelson, number seven, take off on this sensational touchdown run. He's only 5'10", 175, but great speed and tough when he needs to be. Nelson was named the Metro South Offensive Player of the Year, scoring 22 touchdowns with over 1,000 total yards. He also was a stud defender at cornerback with five interceptions. Our All-Metro offensive line is led by repeat All-Metro performer, Quinn Carroll of Edina. Watch Carroll number 75 with this pancake block. What sets him apart from others is his motor. He blocks to the whistle every play. The 6'7", 295-pound senior was a four-year starter who never missed a game. He did not give up a sack all season. Carroll is headed to Notre Dame on scholarship. Lakeville North star tackle Bryce Benhart is also a repeat All-Metro performer. Watch Benhart number 68 with a pancake block on this play. At 6'9", 305, Benhart is a big time player on the state's best 6A team. He recently committed to Nebraska. Benhart is strong with great feet and uses his 6'9 leverage to beat his opponent. Anoka tackle Joey Lombard is a large man at 6'5", 3'10". 
Watch Lombard number 77 with a pancake block. He is relentless. He blocks to the whistle. Lombard is big, strong, and has a mean streak that allows him to punish opponents. The three-year starter is headed to South Dakota on scholarship. Chaska tackle Ethan Jackman had a fabulous season for the Hawks. He's 6'5", 285. Watch Jackman number 75 with a pancake block on this play. He was named the Suburban White Offensive Lineman of the Year. Jackman led the Hawks to the 5A state quarterfinals. He will play football at Air Force. Cambridge Isani tackle Brandon Westberg is 6'5", 285. Watch the seal block by number 77. Westberg makes the play for the running back. He's the first four-year starter at Cambridge since 1965. Westberg recorded a school record, 93 pancake blocks this fall. He was voted the Offensive Lineman of the Year in the North Central Blue District. He's headed to North Dakota State on scholarship. Our All-Metro kicker punter is St. Francis Jr. Hunter Dustman. Dustman, number 10, isn't your average kicker at 6'3", 200 pounds. He made seven of 10 field goals, the longest from 42 yards. But as a punter, wow, watch this boot. It covers over 55 yards in the air, 67 yards total. He averaged 40 yards per punt, just a big time leg, and he'll be back next fall. And we have co-coaches of the year. The first is Brian Vossen of Lakeville North. The Panthers are undefeated, heading into the state 6A semifinals, ranked number one most of the season. This was for everyone in the community. Lakeville North shut out perennial power Eden Prairie and beat other top 10 6A teams. The Lakeville grad has an 81 and 19 record in nine years. And our other coach of the year is Dan O'Brien of undefeated St. Thomas Academy. His athletic director says, Dan has established a culture amongst his players that celebrates hard work, humbleness, and appreciation. That says a lot. Congratulations to Dan O'Brien and Brian Vossen, our co-head coaches of the year. Congratulations to all of our winners. And again, all will receive a very nice all Metro plaque, just like this one. And I also want to say a special thank you to all the coaches who helped me pick this team and to Craig Norcus, who did such a great job in editing our all Metro stories. We'll be right back. All right, so there you go. Uh, 27 players, uh, two co-head coaches. Uh, just a comment about Hunter Dustman, the kicker punter from St. Francis. The video that we showed, um, he, he kicks, he punts that ball from their own two-yard line. That ball, I believe, lands at about the 36 of his opponent and rolls to the 23. Now, I think officially it was 67 yards because the line of scrimmage was probably around the 16 or 17 yard line. But that punt was one of the most incredible punts that I've seen in a long time. And he's only a junior. He is regarded by many as the, uh, the top specialist uh, in the state of Minnesota. And there are quite a few of those around. Ben Greenberg had a great year at Blaine. Uh, Lewis Hyde, really good kicker at uh, Benilde. Tim Stapleton at Waconia. But uh, we chose Hunter Dustman. And my thanks to Chris Hughesby, who helped me uh, make a selection for specialists. Chris is uh, one of the special uh, people in Minnesota who knows all about kickers and punters. So again, my thanks to all the coaches who uh, helped us put that team together. And a very special thank you to our great photographers who did such a, a, an outstanding job. And of course, Craig Norcus, who edited uh, those two pieces. Uh, we're going to finish up the show here and say goodbye to year 35.
So let's look ahead to tomorrow. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, the other 5A semifinal, St. Thomas Academy undefeated against Bemidji. Great football matchup. And of course, the winner will get the defending state 5A champion, Oatana. Dan uh, O'Brien's team undefeated had a very great, a very nice season, but they're going to have their uh, medal tested tomorrow night against Bemidji. In the 3A semifinals, two games tomorrow at U.S. Bank Stadium, Piers against Rochester Lured. That's going to be a really good football game. And Fairmont will take on Purim tomorrow. And of course, the two winners will meet in the Prep Bowl uh, after Thanksgiving Day. And tomorrow, two games in Class A. Blooming Prairie will take on Bold, and then Monoman Wabin will take on Springfield. And again, the two winners will meet in the state title game. That is it for our show tonight and for year number 35 of the Prep Sports Extra. This show started in the fall of 1984. We've been around that long. My thanks to the crew out here who uh, makes the show possible, to producer Andy Trowbridge, who does a great job. Kerry Clancy filled in for Andy a couple of nights during the season. To Ryan, who helped uh, co-anchor the show for most of the year. Craig Norcus, who does such a great job on our spotlight games all season long, has a passion for high school football as much as I do, and did a great job editing the All Metros. And to all the fabulous photographers who make this show possible, and of course to our management who also makes this show possible by helping us bring it back every year. Thank you for watching. Enjoy everything online. It's all there right now if you want to watch it again. And we will see you next August for year number 36 of the Prep Sports Expert. Good night.